Um, once again, if I try this one without controlling his hips first, a lot of times what happens is he just rolls away from you. I'll still be on top, just you know, actually, like you know, just oh. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's okay, I'm still on top of him, but like I said, I never use these submissions from back control. So what I do first is I mobilize his hips here. Right here, one of the things that happens, like we talked about, is his arms and, and uh, head open up a little. So a lot of times from here, I have the opportunity to reach in and get a wrist, okay? So from this position, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post my foot right next to his knee and elbow, or he's standing real tight right here. I'm gonna take a shortcut to get an arm lock. This back leg is gonna swing over, and I'm actually gonna post my foot right next to his head and sit down on his shoulder. I just grab my hands together and drive with my legs. Walk straight back into a simple arm lock. When I was first trying this, like I said, my um, mistake with it was always trying to get it from this angle. And sometimes he'll, he'll you know, feel in trouble and just fall to his side. If you can mobilize here first, it really makes it a lot more efficient. Reach in. Now I've got wrist control. Simply put my foot right next to his uh, knee and elbow. This hand can come out. I'm going to eventually need to grab palm to palm. I can post on his back if I need to to keep some stability. When I come here, I actually put both feet like right on the ground, go palm to palm, and I just start driving with my legs. Taking the wheel right here. A very strong arm work. 